and welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you so today I am off to see the Rocky Horror Show at the Manchester Opera House I'm going to an evening show and so it starts at 8 o'clock and yeah it's quite late now at 7 I really need to go to make sure I'm on time I'm sat in the circle today on the very back row of the circle at the end um, and I paid I think it was £21 for the ticket so yeah really excited for the show and I'll get back to you now once I'm at the theatre because like I said I'm really late I need to go otherwise I'm not going to get there in time Every day I see miserable people doing things they hate just to fit in I know it's easier to get along peacefully but have you ever thought about you don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do When the rules are made up by someone we never knew Baby, wipe your tears and hear me out We don't need someone to feel alright Let's do the streets on Monday Let's call your exes and tell them they can join us too Why always worry about money When you can get rich with pride So it is now 20 past 7 so it actually didn't take me that long to get here I just got off at St Peter's Square so I just need to walk up now to the Opera House Take about 10 minutes so I should actually get there for half 7 And then I can look around at the merch and I might buy a magnet if you got one because I don't think I've got one so yeah I'll get back to you now once I'm at the theatre so I've just arrived at the theatre now it is half seven so I got here just on time I want you to get here for so I'm just going to cross over there's a bit of a queue so I'm cross over now and head in and then hopefully show you what merch So this is the view from my seat. This is the leg room, so there's loads of leg room. I'm not sure if I said, but I'm in a circle, row Q, seat 41, to the very back row of the circle. Um, so there is a tiny bit of overhang from the gallery, but not too much, it's not blocking any of the stage, so yeah, should be a good view from here. So 
so it is now the interval really enjoying the show so far um i don't think it's any different than the last show uh, when, when last time i went to see it was two years ago that was exactly the same but a lot of the cast is the same actually from when i went about two years ago as well was it two years ago or a year ago i can't remember the cast is um quite a few of the cast are the same but yeah it's really good so far uh, it's a really short show as well so finishes at 10 it's only two hours long including the 20 minute interval so not long left now anyway i'll get back to you now uh,
it's actually the next day. I didn't have time yesterday to really talk about the show order or any kind of review for it. So I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about it today. So obviously I went to go and see the Rocky Horror Show at the Manchester Opera House yesterday. Um, I was sat in the circle for this show and I was sat on row Q, seat 41, which is the very back row of the circle. Uh, and my view was excellent from there. I thought it was really good and I only paid £21.50 I think for that ticket. It wasn't the cheapest ticket. You could get cheaper tickets in the grand tier for £13. I wanted to, I'd rather sit in the circle because the view is slightly better I think from there and you get a lot more leg room in the circle than you do up in the gallery. Uh, the leg room is quite tight I think in the gallery so I always try if I can sit in the circle or the stalls because the leg room is a little bit better. But yeah definitely recommend that seat if you don't want to spend a huge amount on your ticket and you still get a great view from there. So there was uh, a bit of merch for this show. They had, I think, three or four different t-shirts. They had a key ring, they had a magnet, they had a mug, I think a water bottle. Um, I think they were selling feather boas. Can't, I'm not quite sure, I think they were. Um, and yeah, a few other little bits as well. I did take a picture of the, I did film the price list and everything that they had, so you will have seen that in the video um yeah but i did buy a program which was here which was five pound fifty and i have to say it's really thin the paper in this it feels really cheap um as opposed to like i got a program the other yes the other day from the lowry and that the paper in that is much thicker than this it's no way near as thin um and i think the lowry programs are five pounds or this is five pound fifty so yeah um yeah i don't i don't think these are as well made as lowry's programs um but yeah that was five pound fifty i also picked up a magnet i'll just show you that so this is the magnet that i got it is a holographic one so it changes depending on how you look at it um it was seven pounds but it's a very thin one it feels really cheap and I think I would prefer it if you could see that uh, logo because I prefer that logo but you're probably mostly going to see that one but yeah if you can see it's holographic so um, I do think £7 is quite expensive it's probably because it's holographic but yeah it does feel really flimsy compared to some of the others but yeah just picked that up so the last time I actually saw Rocky Horror was in 2021, I think it's around August time, and it was the first show that me and Lawrence had gone to see after the theatres had reopened after Covid. Um, and so yeah, it's been almost two years then since we last saw the show, uh, maybe one and a half years. Um, and yeah, the cast is... There's not been too much of a cast change since the last time. Uh, I think it's definitely the same production as last time. The, the sets was exactly the same. Uh, I think the choreography all looked the same. I didn't notice anything different. Um, so I'd say it's pretty much the same production as last time. Although they're advertising it as like its 50th anniversary. So I thought maybe it might have been a little bit different. But it seemed exactly the same as the show that we saw back in. Uh, 2021 which isn't a bad thing it was a really good show uh, and the cast um, were all excellent and Rocky Horror is just a really fun show to go to we always have a great time we go to Rocky Horror you obviously people dress up for Rocky Horror which is always fun to see everyone's costumes and I love all the songs from Rocky Horror they're just so fun and um, yeah I, I always love all the songs uh, in Rocky Horror uh, like I said, the cast were all amazing in this. In fact, I'll show you the cast list now and I'll go through the programme and show you who the cast were and I can compare it to... Uh, I haven't got my programme from last time, actually. I'm not sure where it is, um, but I can sort of remember who was in it from last time. So I can tell you who who's the same and who's different, I think. So, yeah, we'll just go through this now. OK, so this is the front of the programme. So it just says the Rocky Horror Show World Tour 2022 to 2023. 
So the first page just tells you a bit about the Opera House and some upcoming shows. Then it tells you a bit more information about the Opera House itself. Some pictures of the Opera House. Then I have some adverts for some upcoming shows to the Opera House. And then you have your cast biographies. So playing, so playing Frankenfurter was Stephen Webb, and he was playing Frankenfurter last time when I saw it back in 2021. And he was excellent. He was really good. He was good last time, and he was just as good this time. Playing Janet was Haley Flarty. I think that's how you pronounce her second name. Again, she played Janet back in 2021 when I saw the show. Uh, I actually really enjoy her Janet. I think she's really, really good. Uh, probably one of the best Janets I've seen because I have seen this show many times before. Back when I worked at the Palace Theatre, um, this show was on, so I saw it quite a few times then. Um, and I've also paid to go and see it quite a few times as well. Um, but yeah, I think she's one of the best Janets that I have seen. Playing Brad this time round was Richard Meek. Uh, he didn't play Blood back back in the 2021 show. It was Ori Aduba, who was from Strictly Come Dancing. Um, uh, but he was a great Brad. I thought he was really good. I really enjoyed his voice on his uh, solo song. Playing the narrator was Philip Franks, and he played the narrator last time. I have to say, I thought he was much funnier last time and he was th this time round um i don't know i think maybe he said very similar things as he did last time um yeah i definitely found him a lot funnier the first um, back in the 2021 show it was still good but just not as funny as uh last time so this time round joe allen played eddie and dr scott and uh, he was great. I really enjoyed his edit. I thought he um, his uh, s solo song was really good. I thought I really enjoyed how he sang that song. I thought he was great. And he actually played Eddie uh, also back in 2021 as well. So playing Columbia, we had Darcy Finden. I think that's how you say her second name. Um, she didn't play... Uh, Columbia back in 2021 it was someone else but um, yeah she was really good then playing Riff Raff was Christian Lavercombe Lavercombe I think that's how you say his name uh, again he played Riff Raff back in 2021 he's always really really good I think he's played Riff Raff quite a lot let's see uh, 2000 performances of the Rocky Horror Show he's, in, he's performed in more shows than anyone in its 48 year history as he's worked in several productions around the world including the West End production of Rocky Horror and was which was beamed live into cinemas across Europe so yeah he's been playing Riff Raff for quite a long time probably why he's so good at it so Susie McAdam played the Usherette and Magenta and yet yeah, she played the part back in 2021 as well then Rocky is played by Ben Westard and again he played the role back in 2021 also uh, so the Phantoms we have Reese Budden he was also a Phantom back in 2021 uh, we had Jessica Sol as a Phantom uh, Fiona O'Carroll as a Phantom Stephanie Dutoit as a phantom and she was also a phantom back in 2021 and then you've got your swings Nathan Shaw and Tyler D. Nerdon so that is your cast and then you've got your creative team and then you've got your actual cast list here Got your understudy list here, the band, 
and then you've got your creative team list here production credits and then just some adverts uh, well that's some information about our best theatre group and and then that is your program so yeah like I said thoroughly enjoyed the Rocky Horror Show I give the Rocky Horror Show probably four stars uh, it's a fun show. It's quite a short show as well. It's only two hours long, including the interval. So it tends to start a bit late. It tends to start at eight o'clock. Um, uh, but I do think the tickets for this show are slightly cheaper than some other musicals. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed the show tonight. Definitely recommend it. However, by the time this goes up, it, it was no longer in Manchester. It's next stop on the tour is actually Chester's Story House, um, which is a theatre I love to visit. I've visited there a few times. Um, they actually invited me to the Rocky Horror press night, um, but unfortunately I'm at another event uh, on that night. I'm actually at the National Lottery Big Night of Musicals that night, so I couldn't go to the press night, which is really unfortunate. But my brother-in-law has also been invited to the press night, so he is going. So he did say he might film a vlog and I can put it up on my channels um, because I really wanted to see this show at the Story House and I did look into buying tickets and getting there but I had to get the train and um, and then so I needed to go to an earlier showing and I couldn't get anyone to watch the kids on those days and it was also working out a bit too expensive buying the ticket and getting the train tickets so unfortunately I couldn't go and see it at the Story House but if you could go definitely go the story house is a great venue it's also a charity so it does rely on on obviously ticket sales and also um people joining uh the membership and stuff so uh so yeah please do go and see it at chester if you're able to get to chester because it is a really good venue and it's a lot smaller than the uh, opera house is so you'll get a great view no matter where you sat in the story house and it's like a much more intimate venue so that's why i really wanted to go and see it there because i bet it, it's amazing there and also they've got a real community feel at the story house um as well so i just think it would be a great show to see there so um hopefully nathan will film a little vlog for us when he goes to see it there and we can see um what it's like there and he could give his thoughts on it because he's actually never seen the rocky horror show before so hopefully he remembers and films a little vlog for us we'll have to see but if he doesn't then you should just go and see it yourself because i think it'll be really good at the story house so it's on at the story house from the 27th of february i think till the 4th of march something like that um so yeah definitely get a ticket to see it there if you can uh so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little theater vlog if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you again soon bye